There are a number of treatments and a number of manoeuvres to treat benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. However, the Epley manoeuvre is the most well established and it's the test that's been proven to be successful in this condition. The first part of the Epley manoeuvre is essentially performing the Dix Hallpipe manoeuvre. Once the head has been extended, I always make sure that if a patient is feeling dizzy or I see some nystagmus, I wait for this to completely resolve before continuing to perform the next stage of the manoeuvre. The head is turned 90 degrees towards the opposite shoulder. This means that the head now lies 45 degrees relative to the vertical plane. You can relax your arms now. What I'd like you to do in your own time is to roll onto your left hand side and just let me support your head. Whilst the patient is turning, the head is rotated a further 90 degrees in the same direction. Finally, the patient is asked to sit up with their legs over the side of the couch. During this manoeuvre, I like to take control of the head so that I can position it as I would like it to be. At the end of the manoeuvre, I ask the patient to finish so that their chin is sitting nicely on their chest. A dry powder device. Okay. Okay, and this is called a turbo haler. And it just needs a slightly different technique okay. than the metered dose inhaler. Unscrew the lid and then you hold it upright, you twist the base clockwise and then anti-clockwise and it clicks.